hi everyone, and uh, welcome to this new session on the startup track. Um, we are so glad to see such a large audience here today, right? So, um, and if you are here, it means that you have a simple question in mind that you would like to answer. And the question would sound like, how can you leverage uh, generative AI to realize your startup idea? Now, this is exactly the same question that Connected Story and Tommaso asked me some months ago, and that's uh, because we are here, here today. So today, we want to share with you how Connected Story and Google Cloud collaborate together to realize a business idea. And uh, by the end of this session, you will know how Connected Story is able now to unlock the power of personalization using generative AI on Google Cloud. I am Ivan Nardini, I'm a customer engineer at Google Cloud, and I collaborate with customers in order to realize their business idea using generative AI on Google Cloud. And today with me, we have Tommaso Vaccarella, the CEO of Connected Story. Tommaso. Hi, everybody. Thanks for uh, joining us. I'm Tommaso Vaccarella. I'm the general manager and co-founder of uh, Connected Stories. Over to you, Ivan. So without further ado, let's start from the beginning of this, this story. This story. So when we start uh, working together uh, with the Connected Story uh, in March, they came to me and they shared out one of the biggest challenges in the marketing industry. In fact, ideating and creating content for running successful marketing campaign is, uh, is uh, hard to scale and uh, it requires time and resources. So now I was not a, an expert in the marketing industry, so I asked Tommaso, uh, to tell me more about the process of creating marketing content. So let's start from uh, the ideation of the content. When you start ideating um, uh, some marketing uh, content, you have to collect a lot of information. First of all, you start from your target audience. So you try to understand uh, who you're trying to reach out, what are their needs, what are their interests, and then you do some research uh, over competition in a way that you can find some differentiators. And also you look at trends because you want to understand what um, people are talking about a particular brands online or what are the latest on a particular industry that you are trying to create uh, marketing content. So once you collect all this information, then you uh, brainstorm the information with the team and you come up with a possible list of ideas that you have to prioritize based on business constraint or what is possible. And finally, um, I mean, all, you put everything together and you realize what this is a sort of prototype of the final idea. Now, the, the process that you can see here, it looks like linear, but it is not. In fact, formalizing a marketing content requires several back and forth, and new information come in, which actually take um, more time to be processed. And so basically what happened is that um, it uh, add more resources in order to finally get the final content idea. So because of, uh, because of the nature uh, of this process, one of the questions will be, can be like, will be better if you can find a way to navigate all this information. So for example, just imagine that you have a virtual assistant that is able to summarize all the information around your marketing campaign and extract inside about the marketing documentation that is needed, trend inside on your customer, rather than you taking this information and extracting those inside by yourself. So this would save a lot of time that it can be invested uh, by your team in uh, other activities, such as in uh, uh, exploring new ideas or creating a new, a new strategies. But this is just one thing. So let's assume that um, you are able to finalize this uh, content idea. At, this, at, that, at that time, you still have to realize it, right? So this is how a process of content uh, ideation might look like. So you start by drafting the content. So drafting is the initial stage of the content ideation process, and it's the stage where you come up with a concept and you start putting it together. Then you need to create the concept. And so this is when you write, design, and uh, finally realize your idea by creating images, audios, shooting videos, and so on. 
And once you get the content before to publish it, it, need, it needs to be reviewed and case change it. And once the content is approved, then you, you need to take care of um, publish it, reaching out your audience on different touch points. Now, as you can imagine, also this process of content creation will require time and resources. And one thing that is also important to highlight is that once you get your content, this content is not is gonna target like a broad audience and is not tailored on particular users and uh, that you would like to reach out. So there is still a challenge of personalization, right? The problem is, sorry. The problem is, so the question that we would like to answer is that would be better if you can create more personalized content faster. Again, as I said, this is still a challenge because um, Personalizing content, uh, creating personalized content required that you are able to process marketing signal in real time and integrate this uh, marketing signal in everything that you put together until that time. So that's why this, uh, the process that I just described doesn't fit with the personalization that you are trying to, that you are trying to achieve. At this point, it should be almost clear to you that generative AI can be used to address some of these challenges. In fact, with generative AI, once you are able to collect real-time information, what you can do is that you can combine this real-time information and as, a, as an input and feed a generative AI models that allows you to personalize everything, all the information that you put together until that point and generate personalized content at customer uh, level in real time in, and, uh, in, few, I mean, in few seconds. So now you can, you can imagine how excited I was when we started discussing about this idea and uh, how excited I was to know that everything was possible thanks to um, the amazing collaboration that we have with Connected Story team and the generative AI support on Google Cloud. As you can see in this picture, Google Cloud provides several generative AI capabilities that are accessible to every user, starting from business, going to uh, AI practitioners and developers. Particularly, we connect the stories, we decide to use generative AI support on Vertex AI, which gave them the opportunity to test, tune, and deploy Google's foundational model in their connected story marketing platform in order to create personalized content. With Palm for chat and text, now connected story is enabling marketers to ask questions about the, uh, marketing documentation and uh, generating personalized copies. And with Imagen, now creatives can personalize marketing content at scale in minutes. But I don't want to go further here, I don't want to spoil more, so I will pass to Tommaso that we will talk more, that he'll talk more about what connected story is capable of thanks to generative AI on Google Cloud. Tommaso, over to you. Well, thank you, Ivan. Thanks for the beautiful introduction. Again, I'm uh, Tommaso Vaccarella, the general manager and co-founder of Connected Stories. Uh, so we saw with Ivan uh, how generative AI actually allows to scale personalization. But one thing that we didn't necessarily address is the importance of the actual credit personalization. And uh, the reason why is that media uh, marketers and, uh, uh, have focused mostly on uh, optimizing strategies around target audiences more so than actual creatives. Whereas the creative, uh, for the 75% of the time, is what actually contributes uh, to the effectiveness of the campaign strategy. Therefore, creating Personalized content is actually the most important thing in order to engage users and therefore making a campaign successful. So when we launched Connected Stories, we um, wanted to actually have a platform that could solve some of the challenges, if not all the challenges that Ivan is talking about in terms of scalability, in terms of use of data. And Connected Stories as a creative management platform really allowed to introduce for the first time the use of data in an automated way so that we could actually measure and create content faster uh, through the different solutions that we have at our disposals. The idea had always been to remove the technical complexity 
and therefore democratizing the process of accessing data-driven creatives uh, in real time, making it as scalable as possible to actually bring it to life. And in order to do so, we actually utilized uh, um, AI, artificial intelligence, since day one to actually um, supercharge every module of the Connected Stories platform. The platform is composed in three different modules. I'll show you in a second. Uh, one is the Creative Studio, the Decisioning System, and the Creative Intelligence, which thanks to the help of uh, our friends here at Google Cloud, we have actually been able to work shoulder to shoulder and bring that to life. However, something revolutionary happened at the beginning of the year. We saw the keynotes uh, yesterday, today, and all we talked about was generative AI. Generative AI can solve so many different things, in particular when it comes to our industry, marketing and advertising, was essentially the missing ingredient for the platform in order for us to actually connect the dots of the other AI-based solutions and really expedite the process of content personalization. So let me show you guys how the platform works. On one end, we have um, the generative AI Power Creative Studio. It's the solution that is used by content creators. Uh, it allows to actually mix up interactive widgets uh, in data-driven conditions to come up in real time with actual creative uh, conceived so that we are allowing for personalization at scale. So now the use of generative AI really allows to come up and edit uh, content from scratch, really creating many more creative uh, uh, at our disposal so that in this case, our AI decisioning based system, which is actually the central orchestrator of our platform is now capable of selecting more content and therefore in turn uh, generating better performance. How the system works is basically constructed through the use of uh, uh, custom machine learning models uh, which are feeding from uh, our own first party data with clients first party data by real time signals as well, all commingled together in order to actually select the most effective uh, uh, content that are assembled through the Creative Studio in real time in order to make uh, sure that during the campaign we are actually hitting the KPIs and therefore maximizing the effectiveness of the campaign. Effectiveness that we, that we actually measure through our creative intelligence dashboards. So our creative intelligence dashboards are built on, uh, on BigQuery, they are built on, uh, with the use of, for example, Vision AI, allow to create, as you can see, different heat maps or very granularly understand how users are actually interacting with the specific content, which is very different from, for example, what media buyers do when they just look, for example, at the um, entirety of just the inventory or the placements without necessarily focusing on the creative. And the creative, as we talked about, again, is the most important piece. The Creative Intelligence Dashboard then also creates recommendations. Recommendations are actionable and that can be used between our decisioning system to optimize the campaign in real time, but at the same time through our generative AI, AI-powered um, AI studio, to keep on modifying and keep this feedback loop going, therefore creating something essentially unique when it comes to ideating the content, automating, and keep on generating the content so that the campaign keeps on improving more and more. However, today we want to unveil something, something new. We are extremely excited about it. It's something that we worked very closely with the folks here at Google Cloud. And essentially, this is something that is going to turn out, um, going to make Connected Stories the first creative management platform 100% orchestrated by generative AI. We named it Renaissance, which as you guys can tell, it's a pretty interesting play on Renaissance. Um, the idea here is uh, a new total component uh, of our creative studio, which is now going to allowing users to actually interact directly with a chat interface that is again um, built on uh, Palm and the different solutions uh, um, such as, for example, image description as well, part of Vertex uh, uh, AI APIs, that is capable of doing two major things. On one end, we are capable of taking campaign briefs directly within the chatbot, so that it is actually analyzing the most effective solution and therefore orchestrating through prompts what the Creative Studio and the decisioning system will go about 
and essentially creating a much more automated way for users uh, to come up with content. So this in turn uh, changes completely the way not only content creators uh, go about conceiving their strategies, conceiving their campaigns, but also obviously utilizing the platform. A platform that you can now essentially talk to more so than having to manually set up um, everything from, uh, from scratch as I would say any other platform you have to go through um, about. So this from our initial test, again, the Generative AI Power Studio has been on for the last uh, um, six months now. This Genesense, uh, we're actually unveiling it today. So uh, go onto our website. It's going to be available as a private beta for the next months or so. Um, we are actually collecting as many feedback as we, as we can. So your feedbacks will be very precious. But from our initial test, what we're seeing is that 90% of time uh, that it took to actually come up with content is now being shrinked from uh, days to really a few hours, which is, which is massive. And at the same time, it allowed to optimize uh, between media team and strategy team campaigns much faster, which in turn obviously improved performance even more. And therefore, fulfilling the process, uh, the promise of unlocking uh, the promise of personalization at scale. Um, thank you, everybody.